Hello everyone, Emmanuel here from Majesty's House of Music. I hope that you are doing well. Um, if you have not watched my previous class, okay? If you have not watched my previous class, I did a lesson on the passing chords in the key of F sharp. I did a passing chord from the one chord to the two chord, okay? And that, uh, if you've not watched that lesson, just check uh, the previous lesson, the passing chord from the one to the two, the dominant seventh chord. I showed you the dominant seventh chord that is the d sharp dominant seventh chord as a nice simple passing chord that takes you from your one okay to your two chord okay uh how excellent is your name hold on i think you remember that from the previous class now in this class i'm going to give you another passing chord okay there are so many types of passing chords uh, that you can use in your playing. And I'm using F sharp just to explain because most of you are playing in the key of F sharp. That's where most of you request me to do the lessons. But these concepts apply in all other keys. Okay? So when I talk about the numbers, you can be able to translate to any other key that you are playing. Okay? You can apply this in any key. Be it A, B, C, D, C sharp, whatever you are. So, um... I'm going to show you another passing chord that I like using in the key of F sharp when I'm moving from my one to my two. Apart from that dominant seventh chord, there is a diminished seventh chord I like to use, okay? And this is the chord. Mm, sounds nice, huh? Eh? You know, this kind of chords really make you sound more professional, more advanced, a little bit more advanced when you're playing your songs in church, okay? And, um... The chord that I'm, I'm going to teach you is a C sharp diminished seventh chord. C sharp diminished seventh chord. That is the five chord in the key of F sharp. What do I mean? If you look at the scale of F sharp, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C sharp is the five. Okay. So in any key that you're playing, that five chord, you can play it as a diminished seventh chord for your passing chord between your one and two. Okay, right? In any key that you are in, play that five chord as a diminished seventh chord. For example, if I'm in the key of E major, my five is a B, okay? Normally, the standard is a major chord, okay? So you can play that as a diminished seventh chord as your passing chord when you are moving from your one to your two chord. Dun, 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 dun. And now I'm in the key of F sharp, okay? And today was not... A lesson in the key of E. I'll do lessons in the key of E, okay? Today I'm in the key of F sharp. So, time, 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 time. Okay? That's the passing chord. How do I have something in your name? Or to pull it on. How do I have something? Okay? Is your name? Oh. That's the passing chord. Yeah? Let me break this down. So on my right hand, I'm playing a C sharp diminished seventh chord. That is C sharp, E, G, and A sharp. Okay? C sharp diminished seventh chord. On my left hand, I'm playing a G, an E, and a G. Now, what I want you to learn is that these notes on my left hand are just being derived from the notes of the chord that I'm playing on my right hand. So that's an idea of how you can get your voicings from your, for, from your, for your left hand. Huh? Look at the chords or, or look at the notes of the chord that you're playing on your right hand and ask yourself, okay, how can I borrow these chords on my left hand? So I see I have C sharp, I have E, I have G sharp, and I have A sharp, so I can play a G, I can play an E, I can play another G, I can play a C sharp, okay? Okay? Depends on what I want to do, okay? But I, I can just use that normal C sharp, okay? One, to that six, to that C sharp, okay? But now because I'm using this as a passing chord, huh? I'm using this chord not as a five, 
because if I play a five on my left hand, I'll be emphasizing a five. That's not what I want to do. I want to emphasize this passing knot here. There's this passing knot, the G, between the one and the two. Because I'm moving from one to two, chord one to chord two, F sharp to G sharp. So I want to pass through that G knot. Okay? So that's why I want that G to be my best note. Okay? Because I want that effect to be really hard clearly. How Sunday. See? That transition from the one to the two. How easily. Oh God. See that? That's why I'm using that voice. G, E, and G. Okay? So, remember I, I said in the previous lesson that you can voice your chords the way you want. For example, for my left hand on the one chord, I'm playing F sharp, C sharp, and A sharp, okay? That's called a drop two voice. Instead of just playing F sharp and F sharp, or F sharp, C sharp, and F sharp, I'm playing F sharp, C sharp, because I've already played F sharp. I don't need to repeat another F sharp. I can use the two or the third note, okay? But here, I prefer to use my third, okay? And on my right hand, I can just play that normal uh, F sharp major chord inverted, okay? C sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. Or I can remove, uh, I can lower that F sharp to an F if I want to get an, an effect of an F sharp major seventh chord, okay? So that I have this. How works on me? And then our passing chord, C sharp diminished seventh chord C sharp diminished seventh chord C sharp E G A sharp Easy on the Then our two chord What is the two chord in F sharp? The two chord in the key of F sharp is G sharp minor or you can play it as G sharp minor seventh which is G sharp B D sharp and F sharp and I can invert this chord so that I play D sharp F sharp G sharp and B Okay, and on my left hand, I can use another drop two voicing. Okay, D sharp, G sharp, D sharp. Instead of uh, doubling another G sharp, I stretch it to the B. Okay, okay. These are just the notes of a G sharp minor. Okay, G sharp B, D sharp. So G sharp T, B. Okay. So that's my two chord. How? Sunday is your name. Then to the five, C sharp major. Oh, Lord, to the one, F sharp major. Okay, again. How works on me? Is your name? Oh, Lord. Simple, simple, simple passing chord, huh? So, as I said in the previous class, if you want to learn more in this key, I have two full courses, meaning these are courses that go for longer, a longer period of time, eh? and they're more structured. They begin from chapter one all the way to chapter two, chapter three. If you want to learn in a systematic way, I have video courses, recorded video courses. Once you order them, just order them, purchase them, then I send you a link, you download them. You begin going through this kind of concepts in a simplified way, and if you are on an advanced stage, we also have an F sharp advanced course. These are courses that run for over three hours. Well structured, broken down in different chapters that you can follow along at your own time and learn. So if you're interested to learn uh, this in detail, if you also want one-on-one -on -one classes, either physical or online, get in touch with me on WhatsApp or my email. I'll put all my information, the link to my website and how you can order all our materials and courses in the description below the video, okay? If you want to get in touch with me and, and, and get those courses and learn more. So, I hope that you've got something uh, from this lesson and um, hope that you subscribe so that you don't miss out in any of my classes, okay? Because I'll be always posting lessons here every week, okay? Every week I'll be posting lessons. So if you want to catch up with what we're doing here, please remember to subscribe uh, to our channel. So 
I thank you for hanging out with me watching this lesson. God bless you and see you in the next class.